Maya is a cheerful four-year-old girl from the Bronx, happy to finally leave the hospital. I'm feeling good. Good. And everybody helped me here. Last month, her family first noticed she was limping. It started getting progressively worse across the days, and on January 5th, um, she started collapsing. They immediately took her to an emergency room in the Bronx. They're trying to do a spinal tap. They're trying to do MRIs. They're trying to do all this on this poor four-year-old whose body is just can't take it. Um, and, you know, at one point I had to stop and say, you know, she's four. Like, can't we just wait for tomorrow to do more testing? Because, you know, she was, it was a lot. Doctors discovered Miller Fisher syndrome, a variant of Guillain Barre, and a rare nerve disease. There's some sort of preceding infection. Um, it could be lots of different kinds of infections that trigger this uh, inflammatory response against what we call the peripheral nerves. Doctors believe COVID-19 was the trigger because she tested positive at the hospital. She was treated with antibodies for the nerve disease, but that wasn't the last stop. She had to do physical therapy at Blythedale Children's Hospital in Westchester for a few weeks to get her walking again and doing normal things a four-year-old should. Being away from home for two months, Maya is looking forward to one thing. See my little sister. And she got to do just that. And Maya's mother says that she plans to bring her back to school on March 7th, saying the principal will be accommodating with her leg brace and other needs. At Blythedale Children's Hospital, Michelle Ross, PIX11 News.